Days like these are a reminder that heroes are all around us. That includes a Virginia Beach man. He saved a woman who was unable to walk from a house fire. It is an incredible story of being in the right place at the right time. And it's a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. Here's Madeline David. It's that soft spoken. Honestly, it wasn't much thought. I just kind of did it. Almost bashful yeah. persona of the neighbor turned hero. Because Michael Gessick, of course, did not wake up Monday morning thinking he'd have to save a woman from a burning home. Usually I'm out the door by 7.30, um, but today, Super Bowl Sunday was yesterday. I was a little late. He's his own boss. Even so, it proves running behind isn't so bad. And when I get to the stop sign at Eaglewood, I look right and I saw smoke coming from one of the houses. About the same time, he says, someone else in the neighborhood near Naval Air Station Oceana pulls up and calls 911. Then a woman emerges from the home. Um, and she said her, her mother was still inside. She just had a stroke not that long ago and she was paralyzed on one side of her body. She was bedridden. This is the part where many will throw out the word miracle. The house is the exact same layout as Gessick's. He knew right where to go. So I went down, grabbed onto her, picked her up, cradled her. The smoke, he says, was getting really bad. By the time he gets to the driveway, another neighbor jumps in to help carry the woman. Gessick then turns his attention to a trapped dog. But it's not long before the fire department arrives. When they went in, the dog just came running out of the window. And despite an incredible save, this humble guy says all the glory is theirs. Uh, no, 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 no. The people that do it every day, that, that's that's your heroes. I, I don't I don't look at it that way, but uh, right place, right time. I was just happy I could be there. Wow. So has he been able to reconnect with the woman he helped? Well, so this story, you know, sort of going viral online and before yeah. he even yeah. knew who he was, there was some sort of interaction that happened and apparently the granddaughter of this woman reached out to him and his wife. They've made contact and now the hope is that everybody can reunite once this woman is out of the hospital. So, oh, wow. and we might be able to be there for it. That's the hope too, but wow. we're waiting. Oh, I'd love to see that story. Oh yeah. Thanks, oh, yeah. Madeline.